Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of XCOM Chimera Squad. Let's jump right into it. Okay, we have two investigations and a hidden faction target in eight days. And we are looking at some serious unrest building in the stacks right now. We can afford as much as we want the, the intel. And we need the intel. We can't dragnet it. And we can't afford to allow the Riverside unrest to go up, so we've got to go Illyrium in this one. So we're going to jump on it, grab the Illyrium, call it a day. Now stacks are up, and we can drop now drop two uh, agents onto assembly. Allowing us to further reduce the time. And we're going to get Mastercraft armor in five days. We got our payday here with all of our extra resources. Anything new in supply that we want to get our hands on? I don't think so. I think we're fine. But we are going to buy a couple of med kits, which will actually grant us some poison immunity. Oh, what do we have here? We have flow control, uh, one free field team. We actually have all of our field teams down. And essential personnel, which gives us an advanced expanded magazine mod. It, okay, we're going to, we have to reduce the stacks. Just right off the bat, we have to do that. We can allow Old Town to go up, but we're going to go for essential personnel here and reduce Riverside. That's our best bet right now. So let's get it together and jump right in. Let's see, we're gonna get a meta kit on Zephyr and we're gonna get one on Godmother as well. And it looks like we're ready to go. We've got two encounters here. So we're going to have to analyze our first breach to see whether or not we want to use up all of all or any of our uh, breach abilities. Oh, let's see. We got rush, fleet footed, ready for anything. All right, so we're going to move this one down to number two. And we're going to start with Terminal, and then Zephyr, Godmother, and we'll do Cherub last. So let's breach it. And here we go. Let's see, we've got an aggressive Cobra right off the bat, a Codex in the back. All right, we're going for the Cobra here. It's a miss. All right, Zephyr's gonna go in against the Brute in the back. Let's go for the Thrall here. Another miss, and we're gonna Phalanx. Can't say why he didn't take all of the shots there. All right, that's our evidence. Now, oh, we've got an Archon hiding here. Let's see, let's go cooperation, but we're going to go with Cherub. All 
And we're going to get a kinetic shield down on. Okay, we can only get it on Godmother. All right, so we get it on Godmother. And we're going to go here with the trooper. Critical. And we're going to go crowd control here. Looking for stuns. All right. Oh, that was a good thing we got the kinetic shield on Godmother there. Increasing our charge on Cherub. Codex is disoriented. And we get a solid miss on Zephyr. Archon's going to do Archon things. And we get a dodge. Now we're going to move in here, and we're looking for a scatter shot. There we go. All right, two down. Now, what's our next move? We have two charges here. And it's going to be the codex. Let's get down, let's get the codex down. Perfect. And then we're going to come over here where we can take a nice shot at this thrall. Looking to bring him down. Absolutely. We take a crippling blow on the Archon. And it's stunned. Epic. And retreat. All right, she's going to pop out here. And oh, by the way, goodbye. All right, we got the evidence, and now we can go in for the hostage. What's our breach here? All right, we just go straight through. We're going to go with everybody. No. We want to come back here, and we're going to go Zephyr first, Cherub last. Just in case we have aggressives. And we do. We've got a bruiser and an acolyte. We go for the Archon here. And we're going to Alpha Strike. And go for the Brute in the back. We can go for the trooper here, and that removes him completely. Now, damage on the Archon here gets him stunned. All right, let's go for the Thrall, who's now unconscious. Archon is hit again. I'm a little surprised by that, actually. I was under the impression we were supposed to go right through 
This is definitely a crowd control situation right here. Let's take all three of these guys down. Now Godmother. Definitely move up here. And we have a good shot here. Not quite enough though. Now we can seal the deal, or we can start in on the brute. All right, we seal the deal here. And we're going to move up here. I want to stay away from these because, you know, booms. A uh, little bit. Of... We've got tyranny over the brute. Brute's moving right away. Big shot on Zephyr. And he's going to go melee stance. Let's go Kinetic Shield on Zephyr. And we're going to open up on the Brute now. Doesn't really matter which one we hit here. And then we can go Momentum to pick up the Hostage. There's our X-Fill Point. So what we want to do now is we want to move in the direction of getting out. Well, we take down the remaining hostiles. All right, we're not going to be able to get out before they come in. So this is where Overwatch comes in. Now, I believe we have enough mobility that we can come here, get an overwatch here, and still maintain our enough mobility to get to where we need to go. Our VIP, on the other hand, just goes out the door. All right, there's a shot. Now we can, we go here, get the hit, get him rooted, and then it's a momentum turn out the door. We get a shot here. He goes down. That's a shot here. Because what that does is it allows me to get Terminal and Cherub out the door. The reinforcements will come in and then Godmother becomes the first to go, at which point she gets the evac. And this way we don't have to take any more damage.
No, you don't need to reload. You just need to leave. And there she goes. Right out the door. Just what we were looking for. Oh, we, we took some damage, but it wasn't too bad in the end. And we managed to get ourselves back with the hostage. Now we have another advanced expanded magazine. One thing we need to do, which we have to do right now, is we need endless brevity. Fan fire. What's that do? Fire the pistol three times at the same target. It can only be activated once per mission. That's a interesting little ability. So what do we have here? Okay, we've got four days left here. One here. Three days left on Torque. So where are we at in the unrest world? Okay, we've got six days coming up here. We've got a missing informant and reviewing the crime scene. We have Dragnet available, so let's get the missing informant rewards, and then we review the crime scene. All right, Axiom is completed. Legwork means we've got a pile of things ready to go. We're going to go There we go. All right. That's the end of line. We've got a hair trigger. Straight intel. Or a chance to tone that down. All right, we're going to freeze unrest in the stacks right now. We can accept the unrest in both downtown and the switchyard. And we, what we really want to do, though, here is we want to advance our timeline for the hidden faction target. This is where we need to go. So we've got our team set. We have our preferred mission in hand. And let's jump on it. All right, here we go. Let's get it going. Get the team on scene. And let's get it done. Who needs an invitation? We're just going to crash the party. Okay, run and gun. Go with Godmother. We're going to put terminal here. Zephyr here, and then Cherub here. Hello, see, I'm home. All right, all done. All right, what are we looking at here? This is our move right here, and we're going for the Acolyte in slot number two. One down. Yeah, untouchable. We're going to move in here. And let's see, we've got fair against the brute. Let's go against the archon. All right, we're going to see what you're going to get up to next. You know, battle frenzy. All 
or Miss Zephyr. And then we're going to go crowd control right here. All right, good. We got the Bruce weapon disabled. Thrall's coming in, looking to take a shot. Oh, that's a critical in the back. Okay. What have we got here? I think we have to go Archon. Now that's that's only a all right. We want to go kinetic shield, and we want it on Zephyr. And then we can go here for the Archon. And that can go down. All right. So we get charge up on Zephyr. I think we're going in the back here. And we're going to take out this guy hiding in the corner. So you get to go down. Move up here. And we can go for the thrall. That's a miss. Now we have a choice here to go for the brute. I think we need to go for the brute. And then, okay, we cannot go parry here now, probably because of the disorientation. All right, so the Thrall missed. We go for the Resonant. That's all we need. And then we can go for this guy. Two for two. All right, where do we have hostiles coming in? So let's set up an overwatch here. And we're going to set up an overwatch here. Let's get the med kit going. And we can go preparation. All right, we got a graze on this guy. Okay, you're up top, are you? Let's see, we can go for the Thrall. I think we're going to go for the Acolyte here. Let's get up top. And we're going to go for the resonant. You got to drop him like a sack of potatoes. And then we get this guy. And we got easy. Uh, 
And let's line up the Overwatch again. Hiding in the back. There we go. Let's go for a fanfire. <laughs> Full burn right there. And oh, by the way, you take a nap. And let's get ourselves prepared again. Looks like we got three coming in. Looking for Zephyr to have a perfect setup on them. All right. Let's get Cherub here. And we're going to go for the Thrall here. Because I know the other two are clustered close enough for crowd control to get in on both of them. But there was going to be a question about whether or not we could get the third guy. No, we didn't get the momentum. All right, we can subdue this guy and get Zephyr out of the suplex. All right, let's get a move right over here. And that should give us an easy shot on the resonant. And he's down. That's it. Fan. Fantastic deployment right there. Just what we needed. All right. So we've managed up some of the arrests. We've got a scavenger market. Let's see. Oh, this is a shotgun. Grants to rapid fire. Um, yeah, please. Give me. Thank you. And stock? I don't know. I don't think so. But we can get We can get the Callow Ember going. Rapid fire. Fire twice in a row at an enemy. Each shot suffers an aim penalty of minus 15. Rapid fire can only be activated once per mission. Not bad. All right. I think everything looks good. We will take a break here. And we'll be back in the next one. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I appreciate it. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.